Alright, everyone, it's Pukir, and today it is the 17th day of the Christmas countdown with Opisek, and today I have a really nice contraption. It is a digital fireplace, basically. And you have two rivers, one to switch the animation on and off, and one to switch the sound on and off. Let's start with the animation. As you can see, the fire just swings back and forth. In my testing world, I also have animated the bottom of this, but it was just a mess of the cables. Not proper English there, but whatever. Yeah, it was just a big mess and it would not be so tutorial friendly. But anyway, let's now turn the sounds on. As you can see, there are some cobblestone notebook sounds, as well as there we go, as well as some fire sounds. And you can actually hear the fire sounds when the animation is turned off. So if you don't want a lot of luck in your base, like if you have a giant base. A uh, flickering light system would probably not be very luck friendly for you, but when you switch that off, the fire stays off until you switch the sounds off too. Now, as you can see, it really is quite simple and it can be wired in thousands of different ways. That's why a tutorial wouldn't really be necessary here, but I will do it anyway. So, where should I build this? Should I? All right, why not? All right, so I said, there really is no bad or good way to wire this. So I don't want to really tell you what items you need because you can make it however you want, but expect that you will need these sort of items. Now let's start by making the way this will look when it's not animated. I think it looks like that, of course. And now we can start making the animation. So the level is here, right there. Just go out like one, two, three, four. Up and one, two, three, four. Up, not one, up, just one, two, three, and four. Now up, go there, there, there. Now run, there's no wire. There, just like that. This will actually be a repeater. A redstone piece there. A piston right here like three more blocks there and then this is where your clock will be And there we go, that is a toggleable clock. And we will now do the first part. That is the animation that is always being played. And then there is also the animation that is random. So that's your clock, just go like one repeater there, block there, two repeaters there. And then you just wanna put a block right there. We will now activate like these four pieces. So you will just want to run some repeaters in like that. Uh, I think I said them. On something like this in my doesn't work, it doesn't really matter how 
they are set just make sure that they have some different layers so that the animation is more interesting now this is actually the first part all done and dusted yeah so we will now whoopsie that goes down we'll now do the other part which will be colored yellow the yellow part will be the animations that are not always activated but only one out of four times so here you need your dropper with one stackable item I mean one unstackable item as well as three unstackable items and this one of randomizers And then the second one, I think it was like there, but yeah, it doesn't really matter where you put it. No, I think it was here. Here it was. Now, yep, it's all right. And now I did it like this in my testing word, I believe. Then just like there, two pieces of redstone, an observer block, and pop. Sweet. So now we will just need some node blocks that will play the cobblestone sound, like the bass one. So one will be there, set to, I think, nothing, like, don't click it, just flip it like that. This one will be set to three, I suppose, and this one will be seven, right? And three. We can test this out. Let's see. Oh, that's that's not that's not working properly. Why is that? Oh, of course. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. You, whoops. You got to replace these redstone blocks with normal blocks so that they can go on and off like that I don't think that's quite the sound but or it might be the sound wonderful the thing is we will now need to do the fire sound so I will do the first set to begin with, so this one, yeah, put your netherrack on the second bl lamp block, like, and you get what I mean. And we will not, oh, we of course need some dispensers, as well as of course flint and steel. You will put your dispenser there and your sticky piston, like there. Then, uh, yeah, right, why not? Then I want to observe it there, whoops, there, and you piece of redstone here. And that's a toggleable fire thing. Fire out of stereo, just fire dispenser, why not? And you do, of course, the same thing on this side that is a piston, the dispenser with flint and steel right here observe the output here and the block with redstone then we will need some pistons to activate these two observers just like that and we will also need to put some pistons to stop these from giving out sound now, as I said, this can be wired in a thousand different ways, so you definitely need to follow what I'm doing here. But if you feel like you want to, then go on. Can we go there? Yes, we can, without activating any of these lamps. Now I will go like over like there. There, we also need to activate that one. 
to all get activated, I think so. So now just run air somewhere like that. And then the level is here. So we'll go like one, two out. Then go up by one, two and three. And then in my testing world, I went to the side like that. There. All the node blocks are deactivated now, as well as the fire is off. Now let's see. Press that lever. The fire is there, definitely. And all the node blocks are unlocked. So this is perfect. This is actually everything for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.